guys welcome to jg chemistry class guys in today's video we are going to learn order of group and subgroups this topic is taken from group theory and you should be aware of what all symmetry elements are present and what are the point groups if you have knowledge of these two groups then you can go ahead with this video otherwise first revise these two topics and then come to this video and find out how to find out order of group and subgroups this topic is very important for msc chemistry students uh, those who are preparing for their exams and not only for msc but also for the csir net and gate students you can find many questions on it so let's start first we'll see what is order of a group here i am representing it by small h so basically total number of symmetry elements present in a point group is called order of a group symmetry elements and point group you should know let's take one example where example is c3v point group which is a set of symmetry elements classified into one point group one group which is called c3v and what all symmetry elements are present you can notice in c3v that you have identity operation represented by e you have c3 axis of rotation we call it rotational axis or axis of rotation two c3 are there c3 1 c3 2 c3 3 we will not represent because that is equal to identity operation and you have three separate vertical plane or plane of symmetry element so if you count the total symmetry elements here it is six and therefore we say that the particular group which is c3v has the six order of a group so this order of a group for c3v is six here so let's clear it more with taking one example ammonia is the easiest example for having c3v point group and how to decide that the following molecule has the c3v point group for that first condition is you should be able to decide what is the rotational axis present here as you can notice you have one nitrogen and three hydrogen present here so you have c3 axis of rotation because if you rotate three times you will get the this hydrogen at its original place so therefore you have c3 axis of rotation passing through the nitrogen and you have three hydrogen having three vertical planes which is passing through one nitrogen and hydrogen and if you have one vertical plane with respect to each nh then the molecule is symmetrical so you have basically three sigma planes vertical planes with respect to each hydrogen here so you have e c3 and 3 sigma v total six symmetry elements are present therefore we say the point group for the given molecule is c3v because c represent here rotational axis c3 v for vertical plane now how to find out subgroup represented by small p so what is subgroup any collection of elements of the groups which by themselves form a group so any collection of the elements means you can find any set of elements from this list of elements only which separately form a group that is called the subgroup so we will see it more clearly by taking the, the table to understand it before that we will see these two points which are very important to find out the subgroup first is the order of the subgroup should be less than the main group what do you mean by that order of the subgroup is 6 so when you are finding out the order of subgroup it should be less than 6 and then the h by p which is the order of group divided by order of subgroup should be integer value so let's take one example the same example where the order of the group is given 6 now we have to find out what all values of subgroup will be there so let's take if p which is the order of subgroup is 1 you will get 6 which is a integer value if you have order of the subgroup is 
then you are getting again integer value. If you have order of subgroup three, then you are again getting order of that integer value. So you can notice if you have six by four having p value four, that won't give you the integer value. You cannot have therefore order of subgroup four and five and six because it is equal to the order of the group only. So the possibility of the order of the subgroup is one, two, and three. What is one, two, three? This is the possibility of the symmetry elements present in the respective subgroup. So now we'll see this more clearly. So first possible subgroup which is present in all the molecule is having identity element represented by C1. Only one element is present E, therefore the order of the subgroup is one. The next possibility is you have may have a combination of E and sigma V. Any of the sigma V can form that is the subgroup represented by CS. The order of the subgroup is two because you have two symmetry elements in this set. The third possibility you may have E and C3. So C31 and C32 which is again forming a subgroup called C3 which is having three symmetry elements E, C31, C32. Therefore, the order of the subgroup is 3. So, and so you can find out the order of the subgroup is 1, 2, 3, which is smaller than the order of group. And so you can say the C3B point groups are having three possible subgroups, respectively C1, Cs, and C3. So, in this way, you can find out what is the order of group and what is the order of subgroup. Now, we'll solve some questions. First is, list the subgroups of C2H point group. So you should know first, what all symmetry elements present in C2H. C2H, since the name is given C2, so first identity as all the molecules are having E operation. C2 is, we will have C2 axis of rotation. H is given means you have sigma H and you have I operation inversion. So basically, if you notice here, total four symmetry elements are present. Therefore, we can say the order of the group is four. So to be precise, you should know first which example are having C2H point group. So we'll say first, we will take this example where you have uh, this uh, trans dichloroethylene. You can see here you have one C2 axis, which is perpendicular to the molecular plane. Or horizontal plane sigma h so you have e and e identity that is doing nothing to the molecule c2 axis and sigma h and you also have inversion that is point of symmetry how to find out from the center of the molecule if you go in one direction you are meeting one atom here similarly if you go in the other direction same distance you are meeting the similar atom therefore it has similarly if with two chlorines so in all the direction, it should be same. Then we say it is having point of symmetry. So I is present. Now, since we know now order of group, we have to find out order of subgroup, keeping in mind that the order of subgroup should be less than order of group and H by P should be integer value. So H is four here. Let's take P one, you're getting integer value. If you have P value two, you're getting integer value. 4 by 3 will not give you integer value and 4 by 4 is again, it will be equal to the order of the group. So the possibility or order of subgroup is 1 and 2. So means you have only these two possible symmetry element sets having subgroups. We'll see E, C1, which is present in all. E, sigma H, that is CH. Order of the subgroup is 2. EI is forming CI subgroup and EC2. So you can find the various combinations here itself, C2. So total four subgroups are possible in C2H point group. That is C1, CS, CI and C2. So you should be aware of all these basic subgroups or you can say groups which are forming in the molecule. Next problem we will see, find out the list of uh, subgroups of C2H point group and you have to find out the order of each subgroup. First is you have to find out what all symmetry elements are present in D2H point group. 
and which example uh, is false under this point group category you can draw that so d2h d when we have for perpendicular c2 we represent d c d2 is given means it has c2 axis e identity will be there in all the molecules so how to find out how many perpendicular are there perpendicular c2 so you have a general formula called n perpendicular cn so since your cn n is here too so you will be having two perpendicular c2 axis you have h represent here in the point group means you have sigma h you have two vertical planes and one inversion center so total eight symmetry elements are present so the order of the group is h you can take example ethylene where you can notice the rotational axis is present which is uh, perpendicular to this molecular plane c2 and uh, two uh, but two perpendicular planes are there actually uh, up with respect to this uh, opposite to this horizontal plane and one c2 axis is present passing through the center so you can notice three c2 axis represented by arrow and these two perpendicular c2 axis actually consist of vertical plane you can notice two vertical planes here dividing molecule into two equal halves and you have one horizontal plane that is sigma h and you have inversion center the same definition you are meeting the same atoms in all the sides so therefore it is having i inversion so basically you should be aware of how to find out the list of symmetry elements and how we are putting into this respective point group how we are classifying it so order of the group is 8 because you have eight symmetry elements now we'll find out the possibility of order of subgroup so h by p should give integer value having p1 it gives integer 2 gives you integer 8 by 3 won't give you 8 by 4 gives you integer again 8 by 5 8 by 6 and 8 by 7 will not give you therefore the possibility of order of subgroup is 1 2 and 4 so we'll see the table of all possible subgroups for the d2h point group e will be there as we have seen c1 subgroup e sigma will form cs ei will form ci ec2 is present here will form c2 and then you have three subgroups which has four symmetry elements as we have order of subgroup co here so first is since you are having e c2 and 2 sigma v which gives you c2 v point group you have e c2 sigma h i you can notice here which forms c2 h point group and you have e c2 and 2 perpendicular c2 which forms d2 subgroup all these three having four order of subgroup is four so in this way you can see this d2h point group is having total seven subgroup possibility representing by c1 cs ci c2 c2v c2h and d2 so in that way you can solve the order of group and subgroup i hope you understood the concept of order of group and subgroup and you'll be able to solve all the problems related to this topic all the best see you in the next video